What's going on my gamers? My name is one of them gamers or Ryan, whatever you guys want to call me, I don't care. But let's get straight into this video. Today guys, I'm going to do my second part of the top best two submachine guns in Black Ops 3. If you guys want to see um, the last video I did on the VMP, there'll be a link um, in the description if you guys want to go check it out. At least some support on that video. But make sure you guys stay tuned to this video and I'm going to be talking about the Razorback and it's, um, the positivities about the Razorback and everything awesome about the, um, the Razorback. So anyway, let's get straight into this. Also guys, big thank you for all the recent support on my videos. You guys have been a ham. And uh, also, guys, the point I'm really doing this like little series on my channel is the way you guys can tell me in the comments section below. You can kind of, like do a little voting system, and um, you can tell me who, well, no, not, you can tell me what gun do you think is better, the VMP or the Razorback? And it might come some surprise that I'm not doing it on the Vespa because the Vespa has gone through a dramatic nerf. The patch has made the gun so much. The gun is overall so much good, but in my opinion, it's just it's not overall good as the Razorback and the um, the VMP. So let me get in talking about the Razorback. The Razorback is a full auto auto submachine, a submachine gun. Best accuracy in class, ideal for mid-range engagement. So if you can see from this gameplay, I kind of don't show you all of it because it kind of gets a bit corrupted and just it was really getting on my nerves. So I do cut a bit of it out, but the end score is like 52 and 16 or 14, something like that. I'm not too sure, but I do get 50 plus, which is quite decent for a kill confirm game. And uh, I was getting quite annoyed with the um, the purifier because that's quite stressful. Anyway, let's get into this class. The attachments I use are quick draw. It just lets you aim down your sights. And this gun is kind of good because. You don't really need like long bar or anything like that because the long range distance of this gun is really good. I must say, like, as you can see, some of the clips in this game, in this game actually, they're really outstanding, and I love using this gun. It was one of my first submachine guns I did use, or I started to really ad like, adapt to. In stock, it's just awesome to move faster while aiming down the sight. So maybe if you're like um, strafing or wall running or something like that, and uh, you're sliding, and it just help you with getting them kills, just easy. Um, just pistols, as I say, in all my class setups, it's up to your preference. I would use the RK5, but I've not unlocked it yet. And uh, this is what I would use for my level I am now, and actually overall I really really use it. I think maybe I might um, change Scavenger out or something like that. But anyway, so much games up to you. I use an um, MR6 just because I don't like anything lethals. I use uh, normally use tactical mines or semtakes. Whether you guys make it easier, I don't really use lethals. Uh, not lethals yet. Lethal no tacticals often. It's just not how I roll. Uh, perks I use um, afterburner because I just think it's a really decent perk. And I just didn't change it. Um, the rush does have faster read um, charts, so if you, it's one of the maps you just want to be flying all about, and you want to get a better start at the spawn. You just want to be able to beat your opponent to the, um, to the hard point, to the domination, to the flags, anywhere like that, and it will help you next. I use flapjack. Everyone knows just take less damage, and you can just run into the enemy spawn, and you can be, you can be in their faces, and it's absolutely insane. The next one is. Um, Ant up or anti up, whatever you want to say, how you say it, just lets you spawn with a bonus and it just helps you, helps your team out and helps everyone else. Be a team player, don't be that selfish person on the team, be a team player. Last one is tactical mask, and also you have to make sure you guys use perk on greed, but you can use them two packs at the start. So, anyway, guys, this is like just a quick little setup on like or like the reason back, but I'm not going to show you the full gameplay. But the gameplay is like 40 something, and like 50 plus, something and like 16 or 15 deaths. If I remember, I'll make sure I put it in the description, but if I don't. Just uh, message me guys and I'll, if you guys are that concerned on the score. Anyway, this has been it from me guys. Make sure to stay gaming. My name's Ryan. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. And I'll guys see you tomorrow for another video. Bye-bye.